Okay, so let's say you wanna use a password manager, but you don't know where to start. Or maybe you're just interested in an easy to use, no thrills or fluff provider. Either way, you've come to the right place since I have the best password manager for beginners all lined up. Okay, so now for this video, I've picked the top three providers that are reliable and easy to use, and we'll even cover all their main functions. So for this password manager comparison, let's start with a NordPass tutorial, beginning with the installation, because that's where you begin. It's very easy no matter whether you're using a Mac or a Windows PC or even a mobile device. Just follow the instructions on your screen and your installation should be done in a few minutes. Honestly, I really like how uncomplicated this process is. There's just no getting lost or confused here. Okay, after launching the app, we're met with a clear and intuitive design. I can find folders with my information on the left side, but first I need to get some passwords or other secure data that I want to store on NordPass. Luckily, it allows me to import old passwords from other password managers like 1Password or most internet browsers. And I can also add passwords manually and create some new ones going forward. All right, getting a new password with NordPass is super simple. With just a few clicks, I get a strong customizable password. I can also generate a passphrase password using three to 10 words, which is useful if I'm gonna need to remember it at some point. Besides passwords, you can also save your sensitive data like credit card details or some secure notes. You can do that by simply adding to an existing folder or by creating a new one. Okay, now manually entering all those complex passwords and other information online can get very tedious to say the least. So for that, we have an autofill feature. With NordPass, every time I need to enter my credentials in a box, I'm presented with two options. I can either choose one of my save passwords or save a new password in my vault. Another feature that a good premium password manager should have is password sharing. And I love how easy it is on NordPass. It allows me to not only share passwords with my family or coworkers, but also to see who has access to particular passwords. And I can also share secure notes and other information. Now, overall sharing items with NordPass is a secure and fast process. All right, so next, why don't we see how the mobile apps differ from the desktop ones? First off, it's good to see that the mobile apps all have the same features as the desktop counterparts. Some other password managers don't provide that, including 1Password, who I'll review later on. NordPass is structured similarly on all of its apps and is easy to use even after switching your operating system. All right, now before we look into the pricing of NordPass, I wanna talk about a real useful extra feature. It's the data breach scanner, and it allows me to add my emails to see if any of my data was leaked in a dark web database. If it does, I get a lot of information, including what was leaked, how the breach happened, and when. It's a great extra security tool that gives extra insight and allows you to learn a little bit about cybersecurity. And of course, it urges you to change your passwords as soon as possible. All right, let's talk pricing. And NordPass does have a limited free plan, but in the long run, premium is really the better way to go because that free plan is just missing too many key features like password sharing, a data breach scanner, or even options to add files to your saved items. And look, their premium and family plans are already really affordable. So if you're going to use NordPass for just yourself, the premium plan will do. But as long as there's at least maybe one additional person on your account, well then the family plan becomes the more affordable way to go. Now in either case, to save even more money on NordPass, you're gonna find an exclusive deal in the description. You might wanna check that out. Okay, so for my next easy to use password manager suggestion, 1Password. Download installation, super easy. After that's done, you'll need to enter a six digit authentication code to log in and then create your master password. And after completing all that and launching the app, you'll see the main view, which is the all items folder. It looks very different from NordPass, but still easy to use. For example, I can add items by simply clicking on the new item. Okay, now at this point, you'll probably want to import all of your save passwords from the browser or maybe another password manager that you were using when you start to use one password. And yay, luckily for you, it has password importing and it's easy to do. But unfortunately, it's a little limited in the password managers that it can import from. So your luck may vary. But there should be no problems importing from browsers since it does support all of the most used ones. And to do that, 
I can click on the username right there, choose import, then where my data is coming from, and lastly, I just put a CSV file in there. Okay, now when looking at generating passwords on 1Password versus NordPass, it really is a similar process. 1Password has a passphrase system and a PIN number in addition to the standard customizable password. Just a few clicks here and there, and hey, off we go. A newly created strong password that is, haha, <laughs> saved. Okay, now what if I need to share my passwords? Well, 1Password allows me to create a customized link for shared passwords and other information with a recipient list. And to make it secure, all the recipients have to verify their emails to access that link. 1Password has an autofill feature as well. It's functional and helpful, but sometimes it required me to look through my saved credentials in the vaults if there was more than one option to choose from. While that's not ideal, 1Password's autofill still helps and saves a lot of time and effort. Now, where 1Password shines is their vault customization. To add a new vault, I only need to click the plus button Name the vault, there we go. I can also give it an icon and add a description. Then I can add items to that vault just like in the main folder and move items in between them. And if I wanna modify the vault, I need to right click on it in the sidebar, click on manage access, and from there it directs me to the browser. It's not overly complicated, but to be honest, I think it could be a little more simplified. Now, one of the vault modifications that can be done is a 1Password unique feature, travel mode. It allows me to assign which vaults are travel safe and which are not. So let's say I leave the country for a few days. Those vaults that are marked as not travel safe will be locked until I get back, providing extra security for my sensitive information. Love it. So yeah, 1Password is easy to use and a great option for beginners in general, and it's also affordable. As usual, if you need a password manager app just for yourself, the personal plan is going to do just fine, but I actually highly recommend their family plan if you need to cover yourself and at least one other person. Also, the 1Password family plan has some extra features like parental controls and more customization options, you know, like sharing entire vaults instead of just individual items one at a time. All right, that is it for my 1Password tutorial, but I've got another easy to use password manager to consider, RoboForm, which is very intuitive whether used on desktop or mobile. Installation didn't cause any troubles. It was a few clicks here and there, and I was quickly in their PC app. I immediately noticed that everything is laid out in a very convenient way. All the tabs are on the left side. I can just find whatever I needed over there. First, I wanted to see if RoboForm still lets you generate insanely long passwords, and yeah, it does. Still the case. It let me generate a customizable password that consisted of up to 512 numbers, capital letters, and symbols. Most of their password managers put a cap at about 100 or lower. Now, I'm not sure how practical that is, but it's kind of fun to look and test out. <laughs> now, sharing my folders and credentials was easy with RoboForm. I can simply create a link for it, and it also gives me full control over the access levels that I grant for each item or folder. All right, now next for this RoboForm tutorial, I found that their autofill is one of the smoothest that I've tried and probably on par even when comparing NordPass versus RoboForm. Once I click on the green RoboForm icon right here, it automatically fills in all the necessary fields. Yeah, it's that simple. Now look, at least in my opinion, RoboForm covers all the basics really well. But is there anything else that it can offer? Well, besides their dark web monitoring, which works in a similar fashion to the NordPass data breach scanner, I really like how their unlimited logins feature works. As the name suggests, it allowed me to store an unlimited number of passwords on the system. Whether it's your email, your online shopping, your account password is gonna be stored easily with just one click. Now I could just enter my details into the login fields and then click save when the option appears. So from then on, it will provide all those details automatically when I visit that site. So yeah, RoboForm is a decent choice, but is it affordable? Well, it has a free plan, but it's very basic and lacks features like password sync or secure shared folders. So for a long-term solution, yeah, I'm gonna suggest looking at their premium plans. And luckily, RoboForm is still one of the most affordable password managers in the marketplace. For example, if I compare 1Password versus RoboForm, even 1Password is a little bit more expensive. So, which plan to choose? RoboForm Everywhere is their personal plan, which is great if you're only gonna use it for yourself. Now, the Everywhere Family Plan offers everything, but 
expands all that to cover five different accounts. Okay, so maybe you're in and you wanna get any of these three recommended best password managers and maybe you want an even more affordable price, well, then check out the exclusive deals that we got for you in the description. All right, there you have it. That covers my review of the best password manager for beginners. Now, for me personally, NordPass was the most intuitive on whichever device I was using it on. Having all the same functionality on both mobile and desktop and all the apps were structured similarly, which really helps. Meanwhile, 1Password was also really easy to use and their family plan is very customizable. And lastly, RoboForm is a good beginner's option with all the required basic features while being easy to use. Oh yeah, and it's really affordable. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.